Good morning children. Welcome to the online edu class session for chapter number 2 microorganisms friends or foe. So first of all we need to know what are these microorganisms who are mm, pretending to be our friends or may be our foe. Why? Because they may be our enemies and or they may be our friends. So it's a let's start with a type of game in which this will be a game of microbes. So let's start and move on. So game of microbes means microorganisms are all around us okay and then microorganisms are very small. We can't see them by our naked eyes especially the single celled organisms and then for Seeing them, what we need now? We need a special type of instrument which will be, we will call microscope. Okay, and they are present on all viable objects, all available objects around us. And they are, they may be a bacteria, they may be fungus, they may be yeast, they may be different types of viruses, you know, coronavirus, you are going on with corona vacations. Microorganisms are deriving energy from the substrate, from the you know, objects, wherever they sit upon. Okay, or whatever the objects they are taking as their home, where they are residing there and they take the nutrition in the form of energy, in the form of amino acids and proteins okay so what are these habitats for microorganisms microorganisms have their habitats like any objects like your table chair your own body soil water what is one of the best habitats for all the microbial growth animals other animals also you have heard about bats and all who are, uh, who are who are acting as the carriers for coronavirus and plants also uh, and the microorganisms then take the basic nutrients from them and also starts to gel up over them now here you can find the uh, microscope I am giving you three pictures first of all the first picture you are seeing is this is the first uh, the left hand side top one is the first type of microscope a very primitive one which was discovered by Anthony von Leeuwenhoek in late 1600s and after that one more microscope came which, which was discovered by Robert Hooke and this was uh, given in the year 1670 after that the compound microscope that you can see the biggest image on the right hand side this is the microscope we are now using in our labs and now we are we are able to see the most critical most difficult pictures and this is although a basic type of microscope most um, what you would call most uh, recent microscopes can even take the pictures of very 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 small part of any organism now this is the picture of Anthony von Leeuwenhoek who is considered as father of microbiology because he was the first to discover the smallest microscope and after his discovery only we were able to see the smallest minute type of cells in which these cells used to be very tiny in size micrometers in length and after his discovery of microscope he started to explore plants animals bacteria etc so many things he started to explore and he came up with so many fruitful results and this gave a breakthrough to the latest and recent discoveries now microorganisms what are these microorganisms first let's uh, bifurcate the word microorganism into two parts first is micro and second is organism all of you know what are organisms organisms are something which are 
uh, very minute bodies having all their vital life processes inside a single cell they are organisms and those parts which are performing all those vital processes for the survival and growth of that organism will be called organelles okay now coming to the micro micro word is a term which is used for very small size micro as a verbal meaning it has a unit of 10 to the power minus 6 okay you all have been uh, familiar with the power and notations and minus marks so uh, i am giving you just the right picture of micro micro means 10 to the power minus 6 and organisms which range in that uh, that size are known as micro organisms so these are microorganisms and they may be divided into five categories actually four and the fifth category that is virus is actually a different type of category which cannot survive on its own it needs a host it needs a cell to develop and divide it can't divide and it can't uh, develop on its own it can, can't grow on its own because a virus will only survive when it is inside a host cell uh, without uh, entering into a host it can't survive at all so first of all let come let's uh, start from the left side so first is bacteria second is fungi third protozoa fourth algae and so these are some of the organisms which are micron micrometer in length they are called microorganisms now let's start with the first organism that is bacteria here see there are so many colorful pictures i am giving you first is red second is purple or blue you can say third one is green so first you are seeing can you observe those rods type rod type of uh, creatures second in second picture there are some spirals some comma shape some sigma shaped creatures and then in the third picture they are round in shape maybe they are uh, in the pairs they are in tetrads they are in you know, clusters they are in series okay so these are different forms in which those bacteria are available in the environment first of all let me tell you because we are dealing with microorganisms bacteria are microorganisms with micrometers in length they are found in huge number thousands and lakhs of varieties okay and they are also found in all types of drastic conditions even in hot springs even in glaciers in uh, in icy conditions chilling conditions in hot water springs and one thing very interesting I want to tell you here that those bacteria are were present when there was nobody on the earth not even us not even any animals not even dinosaurs still before dinosaurs means hundreds and lakhs of millions years ago when the earth was very 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 hot that time also bacteria were present means they are capable to survive the most difficult conditions so you just think how difficult it is to destroy bacteria if it is harmful for us or as the first word to told us foe foe means an enemy if it is an enemy for us just think of it how difficult it would be to destroy those bacteria okay so they are living inside our body so many thousands minimum thousands of bacteria are living inside our body and they you must be knowing good bacteria and bad bacteria good bacteria help in digesting help in so many body processes because, uh, because without those bacteria we won't be able to digest food we won't be able to perform so many different life activities okay so there are so many different types of bacteria which live inside our body which live over our body on our body surfaces there are so many different bacteria living on it and all, all around our atmosphere in the you know, food items we used to have in curd yeah 
curd we used to take bacteria that is lactobacillus yeah so this is one of the examples now classification of bacteria may be done in three different types means their shapes first is rods second spirals and third spheres rods are called bacillus or plural bacilli second spirals third spheres which are called coccus or in plural cocci now i have given on the right right side bottom you can find few examples it is not uh, necessary to learn them all but it is for your knowledge that if the bacteria is surviving in a very saline conditions they will be called halophiles if they are resisting high temperatures they are thermophiles uh, yeah i want to tell you here at the thermophile that the first bacteria which survived the hotness means heat of earth was archaea archaea was a bacteria which survived in very hot conditions of high temperature and pressure on earth then comes the cryophiles which survive severe cold conditions now so fungus we will be studying in our next period so goodbye till then